everybody, today's video we're going to talk about fear and how a Jedi should handle it. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. Fear is one of the stronger emotions that any person is going to feel. The problem with fear is that it often messes with our perception of reality and the world around us. Most people can think back to a time when, as a child, they were afraid of the dark or of a shadow, only to realize that these things were nothing to be afraid of once the lights came on. But our perception was altered due to the fear that we were feeling within the moment. So what is the Jedi's take on fear? The main idea here is not to allow our focus to shift in the wrong direction. To quote another good Jedi, Always remember, your focus determines your reality. So the very first step in dealing with fear is to feel it, to acknowledge it, to accept it. Fear isn't something that's pretend, it's not something that's made up. Now when we feel fear, it's obviously a chemical reaction within ourselves due to outside stimuli. So it is important to acknowledge and accept what we are feeling and why we are feeling it. There are very real reasons to be afraid. There are many dangers in the world, and fear is one of those survival instincts that all living creatures have. It is important. It is a warning sign. It tells us that something is wrong in our environment. Of course, if we allow ourselves to focus solely on that fear, we're not going to get much done. We're not going to really have the opportunity to affect the environment. So we have to change our focus. Instead of focusing on that fear, we need to focus on what can we do in response to that fear. There's this great line in this show I used to love called Farscape, and it talks about fear and uncertainty. Hey, Dogo. How come I'm not afraid? Fear accompanies the possibility of death. Calm shepherds its certainty. I love hanging with you, man. Fear is often a byproduct of the unknown. We don't know what's going to happen, so we don't know how to move forward. And that uncertainty creates a fear standing in our own footprints, not sure what direction to go to or how to move forward. Surety comes when a certain path is set, when a certain danger is tangible, is definable, something we can see, define, and we know how to act, react, defend against, attack, whatever it may be. Once we have a solid idea of our fear, we know how to move around it to avoid it or to conquer it. Of course, most fear is based in that unknown. It is that fear of the darkness. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's out there. So how can we move forward if there's no certainty to be had? And the answer I have for you is one you've heard me say a bunch of times. Be a Jedi. Because that's where the certainty lies, right? That's where our focus needs to be. What is the one thing that's solid? What is the one thing that we live by every day? Those are our practices, our ideals, our goals. These are things that have manifested that we follow within our lives every day. We can trust in the path. We understand what the path is. It's something tangible. It's clearly defined. We know how to live and be Jedi. So be a Jedi. Now, if you're new to the path, you might feel like you don't really have a solid grasp on that, so it doesn't feel something that's certain. However, there are plenty of texts for you and plenty of materials for you to look at that foundation, that solid core of being a Jedi, and you can take a surety in the Jedi path, in the Jedi way. Even if you need to rely on these kind of books, it still offers you a solid foundation and a solid guideline to move forward. Peace, knowledge, serenity, harmony, the force. These are basic core ideas that you can live by and encourage. Remember that Jedi are not peacekeepers, they are keepers of the peace. It may not seem like a big difference to you. You might think that's just some fancy wording, but understand that Jedi are about keeping the peace. We're not out there enforcing the peace, and there's a difference. We're not Judge Dredd out there being judge, jury, and executioner. 
right? That's not the Jedi's path. We are not vigilantes. We're not supposed to be out there telling people how to live. What we can do is be a voice for the voiceless. We can defend those in need. We can speak up for the people who feel afraid, who feel too terrified to move forward, who don't have the certainty that we have because we live our path. When you're faced with doubt, when you're faced with fear, remember that your focus determines your reality. So get back to basics. Get back to remembering that you can do what you can do. And maybe that feels like nothing. Maybe that feels powerless when compared to the world. But there are always things you can do, even if that's internal, even if that's for your friends, even if that's for family. There's always things that you can do. And certainly you can be a Jedi. No one can stop you from that, except for yourself. You choose how to live your life. Fight fear by believing in yourself. Believe in the path that you live and follow. Work through it steadily and slowly. Allow yourself time. Allow yourself to feel what you feel. Go through the process one step at a time one day at a time, just continue to be a Jedi. Honor and adhere to your path, to the life you have chosen to live. Remember, you are allowed to feel afraid, but the thing that Jedi try to encourage is that you don't allow that fear to paralyze you, to set you back, to lash out in anger. Adhere to the five practices and I have no doubts you will get through your fear and come out the other side wiser and more experienced for it. Thank you for watching. You know where the buttons are. You can like, dislike, subscribe. You know how this works. May the force be with you.